Welcome to Generative Components. I'm Fan Feng. I'm going to give you a short introduction today. And if you launch a GC, you can see the welcome page with a wiki link and video tutorial and past smart geometries link. Close the welcome center. And if you just install the generative components, it's likely that your note type dialog is floating. And if you like to dock it, I would like to dock it. Just simply drag it and put it on top of auto tab, or you can dock it to the corner if you would like. And there are other toolboxes that let it come out or dock it as well. At the task toolbar, you can see the generative components tools. And also under promote elements, there are other um, microstation tools. If you have any questions, you can always go to help. Under content, you can search for topics you're looking for, or if you want to bring back the welcome center, and you can go to a wiki link and ask questions online and discuss with other people in the Bentley community. Now let's look at the note type. If you have used GC before, you can see that we substitute all the words with icons which are more straightforward and user-friendly. If you don't know all the names of the icons yet, you can check the show names box to see what are the icons. Eventually, you get used to what the notes are. You can uncheck the show names and make it more compact. And you can always hover over the icon and see the name of it. Let's start with something simple. Select place point under the primary tool box and place a point in the view window and automatically there's a note generated in the graph window with all the inputs in it accordingly. The coordinate system is wired up to the base CS and there are other ways to place a point as well using the note type dialog. If I click on the point icon and you can't see it here, but you can zoom out and see that I already placed two note points there, but I'm going to delete them, but you know that's a way. But the better way to do it is to drag one of those icons onto the graph window and place it wherever you like to, and then input the value or wire the values into the input ports. Inputting value is easier to hover over an input port and I'm going to put 5 in Y translation. If you double clicked on the note, you can edit the input information under no properties dialog. For X translation, I can put in 3 in it. Or if you look at the right hand side square, if you click on it, it would open a full script editor where you can put in different functions to control the X translation. Let me increase the font size here and put in a serious function. At the tooltip here, it reminds you what to put in. And right now I'm going to put in a series from 1 to 20 with an increment of 2. And then I hit OK, and you can see the update in the view window that I have 10 points array. And I'm going to do the same for Y translation, put in the series function. Also from 1 to 20 with increment of 2. Hit OK. Now we have a point series in diagonal. For Z translation, I'm going to elevate it a little bit to 3. Now that it's complete, you can see a badge on the point 02 saying replicable. If you toggle the replication on and off, it will give you a square of points. As we toggle it on, you would get a 10 by 10 point square. After you're done, switch back to element selection. And we are going to see 
how to record we just did. Alongside with the node types and node properties, you can see there's transactions, which is where we can record, open up transaction dialog, record recent graph change, and it will automatically give it a name for this transaction. Click on the blue button and edit the full script. You can see there is 0.01 and 0.02. If you still remember that we deleted two points in the process, they are not recorded here. Let's change 0.02 X translation and hit OK. Now it won't, since we modify the script, it has to be updated by clicking on the play button. Now I'm going to rename the transaction as create point array. After I rename it, I can play and unplay the transaction as much as you want to see the change. Here's the refit all views button. If it's on and let's unplay the transaction, you see there's only the base CS in the view window. It would fit in the whole view one. After we play it, all the new points are also refit into the window. And the same with the graph fit view function. Now let's navigate around the view using rotate view. You can replace the rotating center and then um, rotate around the view window to see the geometry. That's one way of doing it. After you're done, you can right click and go back to selection mode. The other way is to hold down shift button and the middle scroll on your mouse. It would also do the rotate view function. I think it's more convenient this way. Let's rotate back to the 0.01. And you can see there are handlebars on 0.01. As we select 0.01, it will be highlighted in the graph window. Look at the X translation. It says free, and that's why you can have the handlebars on 0.01. But on 0.02, they're all fixed. I'll right click on Z translation. Now let's use move feature onto this point. If I zoom in with my screw, select the handlebar on Z direction, and I can move the point freely. Z direction and X direction and Y direction. I can also select the plane handlebar where I can move the point in plane. Let's try 0.02. If I select the handlebar, all of them will move on the Z direction freely. After you're done, right click to finish or select the element selection. And let's record the movement by using record recent graph. We can unplay and play it to see the changes. It won't show since we have refit all button on and turn off the refit and you can see the changes. Now let's go to file and save this file. I'm going to name the file point array and save. GC will automatically save after you save it the first time. So you don't have to save it before you exit. After you save it, if you look at the dialogs on the left hand side, there's only transaction and note properties and the way to bring back the no type dialog is to click on the create note button. And that is all for this short intro. Thank you.